Daryl, I have one last wish. No matter where you are in the world, there's one thing that every country and culture has in common, food. So here to make your mouths water uncontrollably are the top 15 best international comfort foods you need to try before you die. Hurry up. Jamaican me hungry. Jamaican me crazy. If you're looking for some relief from a colder climate, try making your way to Jamaica and trying some jerk chicken. Jerk spice is usually made from scotch bonnet, allspice, and thyme, and rubbed over pieces of bone-in chicken. But it's not just the spice that makes this such a classic dish. Tell me a secret. The chicken is then slowly cooked over smoking coals, which gives it the amazing taste it's known for. We don't know about you, but we'd leave the cooking of this one to the professionals. And then we'd, you know, be the official tasters. Hey, it's a job and someone's gotta do it. What Germans mean by dumpling. We can stuff one dumpling in another dumpling. If you love almost every dumpling you can get your hands on, you'll be glad to hear about a different type of dumpling, German Spatzle. Specifically, let's talk about the Spatzle tossed in mushroom gravy for those who want to take a little break from meat. I'm tired. A German staple, Spatzle are actually little German dumplings made from flour, egg, and milk and cooked into a small, almost orzo-like pasta shape. From there, the amazing little dumplings are tossed in a cream sauce and topped with freshly cooked mushrooms and mushroom gravy. Yes, we'll take about four plates, thank you. The Valiance of Valencia. I love Valencia. Now let's turn our attention to Spain, and specifically the Valencian region and their incredible dish of paella. Once upon a time, some Spaniards looked at their leftovers of rice, vegetables, assorted seafood, chorizo, and chicken, and thought that together it would somehow make a great dish. Luckily, they were incredibly right. And I know what I'm doing. Nowadays, a typical paella isn't made from leftovers, but it still has the crazy combination of saffron rice, mussel, chicken, shrimp, and anything else you can get your hands on. Just be sure to create a little crust of rice on the bottom of your pan, as that's the true star of a paella. Once you have a forkful of it, you'll understand why so many call this Spanish staple their comfort meal. Go a little nutty. People love nutty buddies. If you don't have a nut allergy, you absolutely have to try the West African staple of peanut soup. Some know this dish to be from Mali, but it goes by so many other names. Ghanaian groundnut stew, Nkat and Kwan, Mafe, among others. Alongside the fact that peanuts aren't even native to the African continent, it's hard to know exactly where, when, and by who this comfort food was created. It's a mystery. One thing is for certain, though, this soup is as tasty as it is filling. For the West African version of this hearty soup, start by making a spicy base paste of fresh ginger, jalapeno, cumin, and lots of garlic. And then add in your sweet potato and creamy peanut butter. Stirring it all together will give you a spoonful of sweet and savory goodness, as well as keep you full for hours. The Jumping Loin of Peru. Peru. We're going to Peru. If you think you've had every version of stir fry, think again. Lomo saltado, which can be directly translated to jumping loin, is a typical Peruvian dish and a fresh take on stir fry that makes it impossible to leave any on the plate at all. You're going to need a fresh piece of boneless steak. Once you have that, smother it in a combination of red onions, plum tomatoes, aji amarillo paste for that bit of kick, soy sauce, red red wine vinegar, cumin, and fresh cilantro to cook up your own Peruvian dish. If you think we'd serve that up carbless, though, you're sorely mistaken. Lomo saltado is typically served on a bed of fresh, fluffy rice and crispy fries, so make sure you get everything on your fork before trying it. Not your typical instant ramen. Please, sir. Ramen tacos? Can't get enough of the instant ramen noodle packets you survived on as a student? Consider giving a more authentic version of this classic Japanese dish a try. Though there's a variety of different ramen you can try, a tried, tested, and true favorite is tonkatsu, or pork ramen, which includes both pieces of pork and pork broth in its recipe. That's good pork. 
Get your tonkatsu broth, seared pork belly, and ramen eggs prepared ahead of time, add in some miso paste and noodles, and top with some favorites like green onions and mushrooms to give your taste buds a first-class trip to Japan. It'll take about 20 minutes, and you'll probably never go back to your instant noodles again. Can you handle the heat? Too hot! Figure out your true spice tolerance by trying out Mapo Tofu. Coming from the Sichuan region of China, known for the insane amount of spice in its food, this dish is made for the tough of heart and tongue who can truly handle their spice. This tofu dish may sound a bit simple as it's just marinated tofu, but there's one ingredient that makes it such a classic. Iconic you might say. Sichuan peppercorns. Not only does this spice give mapo tofu its signature flavor and delicious scent, but it also has a signature numbing effect. A numb tongue is required to handle the spice of this dish, so make sure you pack it on there and hold on to your hats. Moroccan your socks off. This is gonna knock your socks off. While tagine itself may be the name of a pot, lamb tagine from the incredible cuisine of Morocco is a dish you have to try at least once in your life. Cooked in the same clay pot, tagine is a name given to a variety of dishes, but lamb tagine takes the cake in terms of flavor, as lamb is naturally sweet and pairs really well with all of the spices in the dish. So what exactly constitutes constitutes a lamb tagine, you may ask? I want to know! This Moroccan dish is made of lamb, obviously, onions, chickpeas, tomatoes, garlic, and a classic Moroccan spice blend of cumin, turmeric, cinnamon, and paprika that give the tagine its classic taste. Let this amazing blend of flavors come together and then pour in some vegetable stock to get a small sauce going. Serve it up on a bed of couscous and be glad there's plenty left over for the days to come. Hot Dog 2.0 New and improved If you've ever been to Argentina, you'll know that the Argentinian people take a lot of pride in everything they do, and that includes their version of the classic hot dog, usually eaten during asado, a very delicious and very Argentinian version of a barbecue. Choripans will be made around the table by everyone from children to adults. Instead of soft bread, choripans are usually made with a piece of baguette sliced down the middle. It's like a baguette. Next, a homemade chimichurri, a traditional Argentinian herb sauce, is slathered onto the inside of the bread, and a butterflied chorizo is placed on top. Any good Argentinian will squeeze the bread together to allow the chorizo juices to mix with the chimichurri and soak the bread before taking a big ol' bite. So if you're ever in the mood for a hot dog, consider going for its fancier cousin, El Choripan. And not your sister's hand-me-downs. No, not me. Ropa vieja may mean old clothes in Spanish, but this classic Cuban dish will feel like a new experience every time. Cuban ropa vieja is a shredded meat dish that holds the coveted title of Cuba's national dish for a reason. Just whip out some beef flank steak, beef broth, canned tomato paste, canned diced tomatoes, oregano, cumin, turmeric, apple cider vinegar, bell peppers, Spanish olives, and garlic cloves, and you'll have your dish. Voila! Sound like a bit much? Don't worry, your slow cooker will do most of the work for you. As a shredded beef dish, ropa vieja takes hours to cook. Just throw all of the ingredients into your slow cooker, set the timer, and enjoy this flavorful dinner with barely any work. A super meal. More soup? If you're sick, but also sick of chicken noodle soup, then caldo verde soup from Portugal may be your new favorite. A wintry favorite of Portugal's with just the right amount of seasoning, some rough cuts of Portuguese chorizo, and enough flavor to knock the cold right from your sinuses. With a name meaning green broth, caldo verde was initially born as the fraternal twin to the Italian's zuppa toscana, which has a red broth, but has since become a staple in every Portuguese heart. Heart and soul. You got it. The soul of this soup, however, is how incredibly different every family's bowls will be. Caldo Verde calls for your regional sausage, regional greens, and any style of cut potatoes to offer up a familiar but unique taste depending on where you are. So no matter what your current address, mix a bit of Portuguese culture into your meal and try making this recipe with your own regional ingredients. 
It's all about the cheese curds. Wisconsin delegation was giving out cheese curds. Jean-Paul Roy of Quebec, Canada came up with the delectable treat around 1960, and it stays a true Canadian staple to this day. If you think you've tried poutine outside of Canada, let's delve into your memory a bit. If it had shredded cheese, any Canadian would turn up their noses. Of course, while fries, gravy, and cheese curds are all essential to any poutine, there have been a few little tweaks since the days of Jean-Paul Roy. It's a new era. From poutineries to home cooks setting out to make something new with their leftovers, the variations of poutine have become absolutely endless. Pulled pork, cheeseburger, you name it, and someone has tried it. With such a highly customizable plate, it's easy to see how poutine is comfort food for so many Canadians. Fat cakes for big hearts. Yeah, big heart. No matter if it's breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack time, or if you're in the mood for sweet or salty, the South African vet cook has you covered. If we had to summarize this delicious little treat, the vet cook, or fat cake, is a bit of yeast dough formed into a bun and then deep fried to a crispy, fluffy perfection. Though this little bun may look like bread, the fat cake moniker may have offered a more reasonable insight. This recipe actually uses cake flour instead of bread flour. Surprise! To whip up a few, grab your cake flour, salt, sugar, and an entire packet of yeast for only seven little buns. After that, just drop your vet cook into the fryer until they're crispy brown on the outside but irresistibly tender on the inside. Traditionally, vet cook are usually served whole with apricot jam and cheese, a sweet and savory combo, or sliced in half and stuffed with minced meat curry. Either way, these little fat cakes definitely don't disappoint. Happy Lunar New Year! Happy Though it's a dish that often lines Vietnamese tables during Lunar New Year, Sit Khao Tao isn't exclusively made on this holiday. In fact, its sweet and savory flavors go perfectly just about any time of the year. Commonly called a braised pork and egg dish in English, Sit Khao Tao seems like a fairly simple dish. So it seems. All you need is eggs, pork belly, or shoulder, depending on what's available, garlic, shallots, fish sauce, soy sauce, whole star anise, black pepper, sugar, coconut milk or juice, and green onions. If you're looking to diversify your Lunar New Year spread or just looking for something new to cook up in your kitchen, Sik Khao Tao is perfect. No potato left behind. We're gonna make it. Made pierogies yesterday and have some leftover mashed potatoes you don't know what to do with? Want to prepare a sheet pan dinner? Try another Slavic dish called pagash. Pagash is one of those simple dishes that everyone customizes in order to make it their own. Start off by making or buying some bread dough. Then take whatever pan you planned on using and roll out your dough so that a thin layer of it covers the pan completely. Sounds good. From there, butter your bread and scoop in some mashed potatoes. Feel free to add garlic, onion, cheese, or whatever else to your mix. From there, the pagash is usually covered in cheese and baked until the bread has risen. But some people like to add things such as sliced tomatoes as toppings, so feel free to go crazy with it. Just try it out and watch this Slavic pizza pierogi hybrid become your new quick favorite. Try out more great videos. Just tap or click. First time here? Then leave us a comment, hit that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell.